Good morning. Happy Monday. First off, today is my very first day with my new schedule change at work. So basically, I am going to be doing three 12s at work instead of five eights, which is going to give me a little bit more free time. So hallelujah to that. So like this week, for instance, I work Monday, Friday, Saturday. So I have Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday to be able to get things done that I need to get done. So um, the days that I work out will probably be my days off. Um, I probably won't get a chance to work out on the days that I work unless I happen to be extra motivated and get up super early, which... I'm not very good at that, so I'm not even gonna hold my breath on that. But today is Monday, like I said, so today I work, and then I'm off Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'm just getting here to work, so I'm gonna head in there, and get my 12 hours over with, and I will show you what I'm gonna eat today. I did record that before I left the house. Um, but as far as working out today, I won't be doing that, but I'll definitely be working out on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So let's go get this day over with. So this is what I'm going to be eating today. This week I will continue the OMAD way of eating. Um, I'm actually really enjoying it, and I know I've said this the last couple of vlogs, but because I haven't been eating those sugar alcohols on a daily basis... I feel like it's super sustainable to do OMAD. Um, I don't know if I'll continue OMAD once I hit my goal weight. I may go back to like a four or six hour eating window, but for now I am loving OMAD and it's working for me. So I'm just going to continue to keto on. But this is what I'm gonna be eating. I'm gonna be doing this pork chop right here. And then underneath there, there is some zucchini with onions and garlic. And then I'm going to have this salad with pecans, and then I'm going to throw some of my homemade ranch in there, which I cannot show you because it is at work, but um, I'm gonna throw some of that in there. I'm also going to take this Gouda cheese. That sounds absolutely delicious. I haven't tried it yet. It's smoked with apple and hard wood, but um, this looks absolute bomb. I love Gouda cheese, so I figured I'd give that a try. Then I'm gonna have some of that preferred elements keto collagen with cashew milk and chia seed. If y'all are wondering, this is what it is right here. It is preferred element keto collagen. It is in the chocolate flavor. I've tried the vanilla flavor as well. Chocolate is my favorite, but the vanilla is pretty good as well. Um, I will have a link down below if you guys are curious or interested in trying this. But this tastes absolutely amazing and it's really good in the cashew milk with the chia seeds. So, so good, y'all. So good. But um, collagen is actually really amazing for your body and I will be doing a video on that. So definitely stay tuned for that. Dollar Tree time. All right, so we're already out of salad. So we need to run into Walmart Grab some more salad. All right, I think we'll get this one. Spinach and spring mix. All right, I think I'm also gonna get a halo top caramel macchiato. Tuesday we are at the gym as a family so we are gonna head in there and get a sweet workout you got this Workout is done. We're just waiting for Oscar here at the truck and we're gonna head home and I'm gonna take a shower and That was an amazing workout like always I haven't been to the gym in a couple of weeks So it was very nice to get back in there and I think I'm gonna be making a date with the gym on Thursday as well Hey y'all happy hump day Woo! So I am at Whole 
home today. I'm like super stoked because I'm loving these 12 hour shifts because it gives me so much more time at home, yay! But you know what? Today I am just going to not go to the gym because my house is kind of a pit and I need to clean my house. I need to do the dishes from this morning and I'm going to just do some stuff around the house. Then I think I'm just gonna do some workout videos here at home. But for now, let's clean. Chores are now done, so now I'm enjoying an afternoon keto coffee. Bye! Say, Say hi. hi! Hi! Keto pancakes by Keto and Pearls. These are bomb! So I am going to stop and eat. I've been cleaning all morning, but I'm going to eat this salad. I have this candle burning. This is Oscar's actually. It totally smells like a boy. It smells like men's cologne. But anyway, I'm going to eat this salad for lunch and it's just the 50-50 greens. I do have some of that Gouda cheese that I bought in my grocery haul, as well as four pieces of pepperoni. And then I have that, um, homemade Caesar dressing that I made in my dinner in Dollar Tree and I am gonna go eat. Happy Thursday! So I'm actually headed off to the gym which I almost talked myself out of going because I'm actually kind of tired now and I really didn't feel like going. I've literally been cleaning all day like spring cleaning type cleaning which I actually love to clean because I love the smell of a clean house but I'm exhausted and it's it's now a little after two and I literally was like debating on kind of skipping out on going to the gym which I'm glad that I did it once I'm in the car I'm good but trying to get my tushy in that car is like sometimes I just want to talk myself out of it but I'm really glad I didn't because I won't get a chance to go to the gym on Friday or Saturday because I work Friday and Saturday and I'm on 12 hour shifts now. Um, and my shifts are from 9 a.m. in the morning till 9 p.m. at night. So I have to leave my house by eight o'clock in the morning, obviously because of traffic and all that good stuff, to get there on time. And then by the time I actually leave work, um, you know, it's 9.15, 9.30 sometimes, just depending on the day and how busy we were. but. There's times I'll get home till close to 10 o'clock at night. So the days that I work, I won't be going to the gym unless I happen to get up crazy early and get super motivated and go then. But that is probably like slim to almost nada. <laughs> That's just not me. I've never been that type of person to literally like jump out of bed and go to the gym. I wish I was, but I just am not. Um, but anyway, I am headed to the gym and I'm probably not going to stay too, too long. I'm probably going to do a half an hour to 45 minutes here because I need to come home and get ready because I need to come home, make dinner, get ready. And then we have my daughter's dance recital tonight. I probably can't really take y'all with me there because they are really, really particular about like cameras and videotaping and stuff in there. Um, pretty sure it's because they want you to buy their CDs and all that good stuff. But um, anywho, um, that is my plans and let's head into this gym and get a crazy, crazy amazing workout. <laughs>
All right, another great workout, y'all. It is hot outside. It is 86 degrees right now. Um, it's not like, obviously that's not super hot for Arizona, but it's definitely getting warm. And especially when you're already hot from working out, then to come out into 86 degree weather and here pretty soon, you know, I mean, Arizona usually always easily reaches 120 eventually. So it's gonna feel like we're walking out straight into an oven, y'all. But let me just tell you, last night's workout, my arms are so sore. Oh my golly. My shoulders, I didn't realize how weak I was until I did that shoulder exercise, the, you know, one that you go like that. But oh my golly, my shoulders are so weak. Um, I really need to start. I always favor my legs. I really need to start working my arms more. And I think I favor my legs because my legs are stronger than my arms. But I need to just take turns, you know, like one day I did arms, the other day I did legs, and I need to just do that. So next time I go, I'll make sure I do arms again. Plus with hiking and everything, obviously that's an amazing leg and butt workout too. So really I could like probably totally skip the leg portion of it and maybe do legs one day and then arms and then arms and then legs. So anyway, I need to strengthen up my arms. But they are definitely sore from yesterday, but for now I'm gonna go home because I need to make dinner and get ready to go to my daughter's dance recital, which I'm super excited. I always get so excited when we get to go to her recitals. They're so much fun. <laughs> Alright y'all, so I never ended this vlog over the weekend because I was busy with Easter. We did Easter at our house. Um, so I'm going to end it now, but to be quite honest with you guys, I cheated. I cheated super bad over Easter. Um, and that's not the only day I cheated this week. I cheated on Thursday night when my daughter had her dance recital because it's kind of a tradition after her dance recital. We always go to Dairy Queen afterwards. And typically I say no, and this time I don't know what I was thinking, but I ended up getting a blizzard. I got a chocolate extreme blizzard. So not only did I get like ice cream, but I got like a sugar on top of a sugar on top of a sugar ice cream. So I cheated on Thursday um, after my daughter's dance recital. And then I cheated on Easter, which I did not have intentions of doing that either so I don't know what I was thinking but um, yeah I cheated with desserts I cheated I had mashed potatoes I had dinner rolls I had basically everything that is definitely not allowed on keto but like I said before I really don't think it's like a big big deal to cheat as long as you get back on track that is the biggest thing and let me just tell you I felt all the side effects of cheating afterwards but I mean, that was, I mean, I knew that if I cheated, that was going to happen, and I chose to make that choice anyway, but like I've said many, many times, I don't think cheating is bad as long as you get back on, you know? I think, I think the only way cheating is bad is if, like I said, maybe you have some kind of health condition that you're doing keto, or if you're the type of person that if you cheat, um, you're going to struggle getting back on. Um, that's the only time I would not recommend cheating. But I mean, like I said, honestly, I don't think cheating's a big deal. I mean, like I said, people, some people probably agree with me and some people probably disagree. But I'm gonna tell you right now, like the holidays are hard for me. I mean, my entire life, the holidays were always revolved around food. And I think that that is probably the truth for a lot of people. Um, you know, and just because it is revolved around food doesn't mean you have to cheat. I feel like that's like your personal choice. Some people don't believe in cheating and some people don't think it's a big deal like I do. Um, and I feel like everybody's human. Everybody makes mistakes and not that I'm saying cheating's a mistake because like I said, I never want to put it out there like cheating's bad because I don't necessarily think cheating's bad. I just feel like... Um, it's like I said before, it's personal preference. Um, but I'm back on now. I'm probably not quite in ketosis again yet, but 
I did go right back to keto the next day, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna beat myself up over it because the way I look at it is that was my choice. I definitely suffered the stomach issues for that, but again, that was my choice. Do I regret my choice? No. Why should you regret anything that you do in life? I mean, it's part of your journey, you know? Just deal with it and move on. But the biggest thing to remember is if you stumble, don't quit. A stumble is just a stumble, don't quit. Like, who cares? It's a stumble. Just like if you were to fall down on the floor, let's just say you trip over something and you fall down, you're gonna get up, right? Cause you gotta get back up and start walking again. Well, if you fall off the wagon, big deal. Get up and just get back on. If you throw yourself out of ketosis, big deal. Get back into ketosis, so whatever. Just remember, leave yesterday in the past and move on to your dreams again because you can't just sit there and beat yourself up all the time. Um, but let me just tell you, I am feeling bloated. I'm feeling the whole effects of all the carbs that I ate and the sugars. All of that basically I'm sure is just water weight that will come off again. I still haven't weighed myself or anything like that. Right now I'm just gonna worry about getting back into ketosis and getting back on track. Because like I said, that is the key to if you cheat, just worry about getting back on track. That's the biggest thing. But I just wanted to throw that out there and I wanted to be honest with you guys because it is what it is and it happens to the best of us. But moving on to the giveaway and I'm going to announce the giveaway winner and I will leave an email address for you guys to give me your um, address that you want me to send your prize to. So this is exciting, and the winner is Christy Firestone. So Christy, definitely um, email me your address and all that good stuff so that way I can get this prize to you. And if this prize ends up unclaimed by my next vlog, I will announce another winner on the next vlog. So um, you have literally the whole week to um, get in touch with me to give me your address. And if that doesn't happen, then like I said, I'll just rename a new winner. But anyway, I think that's all I have for you guys. Definitely stay keto strong. If you're like me and you cheated over the holiday, oh well, doesn't matter. Pick yourself up, move on, and don't forget about your dreams. You know, just cause you stumble doesn't mean you can't get back up cause we can always get back up. You know, if you threw yourself out of ketosis, who cares? Get yourself back in. Not a big deal. It's not a big deal, you guys. Um, but anyway, again, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. And don't forget to go out there and make today even better than yesterday. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.